Welcome to Free Math. In this video, we have got this uh, quadrilateral uh, A, B, C, D, as you can see in this uh, diagram, such that uh, all these uh, side length uh, A, D is equal to this side length uh, C, D, and uh, this side length is equal to B, C. And moreover, this angle uh, D, A, B is uh, 3X, the angle uh, a d c is uh, 4x and finally this angle uh, a b c is uh, 2 times x and now our task is uh, to find the value of the angle uh, x please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100 percent true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step we are going to connect uh, these points uh, a and uh, C as you can see in this uh, next step and as a result we are ended up with this uh, triangle uh, ADC and now let's focus uh, on this uh, triangle uh, ACD and we can see that this is an isosceles triangle since this side length uh, equal to this side length and in this uh, next step I have dropped this perpendicular DE on this uh, line uh, AC and now we know that this uh, whole triangle uh, ACD is an isosceles uh, triangle. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be congruent to this angle. So therefore, if this angle is uh, alpha, then this angle has got to be alpha as well. So therefore, we conclude that these uh, two right triangles, uh, this right triangle uh, AED and this other uh, right triangle uh, CED are uh, congruent triangles according to side angle side congruency theorem and since these are uh, congruent triangles so therefore uh, this side length uh, AE is going to be congruent to this side length uh, EC in other words uh, if this side length uh, is lowercase a then this side length is going to be lowercase a as well and we know this whole angle is uh, 4x and since uh, these two are our congruent triangles so therefore uh, this angle is going to be half of 4x is going to be 2x uh, and likewise this angle is going to be 2x uh, as well and in this uh, next step i have dropped this perpendicular uh, cf uh, on this uh, side uh, ab and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, right triangle uh, ced and this uh, the right triangle uh, C, F, B are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle uh, congruency theorem. Since uh, this angle is congruent to this angle, uh, this side is congruent to this side, this angle is 90 degrees, this side is 90 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this uh, angle has got to be our angle uh, alpha and this side uh, is going to be equal to this side so that is going to be lowercase a and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, afc we know our this uh, side length uh, ac is a plus a is going to make it uh, two times uh, a and this side length uh, fc is uh, lowercase a before we proceed any further let me go over the basic uh, concepts and let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AFC and this is our special 30, 60, 90 triangle and here we can see 30 degrees is our smallest angle so therefore the leg opposite to that one is going to be our smallest uh, leg whereas uh, this is our 90 degree angle and this is our largest uh, angle so therefore uh, the side opposite to this largest angle is going to be our uh, largest leg this leg is also called the hypotenuse so therefore in such kind of uh, special 30 60 90 triangle the largest uh, side is uh, twice the smallest uh, leg if the smallest leg is uh, one unit uh, then the largest uh, leg is going to be two times that one and this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three and in general if the smallest leg is uh, lowercase a then the largest leg the hypotenuse is going to be two times uh, a and this third leg is going to be a times uh, square root of uh, three and now let's focus once again on this uh, triangle uh, afc 
and we can see this uh, largest leg is uh, two times a and the smallest leg is uh, lowercase a so therefore we conclude uh, this uh, angle is going to be 30 degrees uh, and this angle has got to be 60 degrees in a special uh, 30 60 90 triangle and now let's focus on this uh, big uh, quadrilateral uh, a b c d and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, whole uh, angle uh, is going to be alpha plus uh, 30 degrees so i can write this whole angle as uh, alpha plus uh, 30 degrees and this very same angle is uh, 3x uh, as well so therefore we can write uh, this one uh, alpha plus uh, 30 degrees is going to be equal to 3x let's move this 30 degrees on the other side so therefore uh, alpha is going to be equal to 3x minus 30 degrees i'm going to label this one as our equation uh, number one and now let's focus on this uh, this whole angle this angle is going to be alpha plus 60 degrees uh, plus uh, alpha so therefore uh, this uh, whole angle is going to be 2 alpha plus uh, 60 degrees and now let's focus once again on this uh, quadrilateral uh, a b c d we know the sum of all these uh, four interior angles uh, must be equal to 360 degrees therefore we are going to add all uh, these uh, four uh, angles and we are going to set it equal to 360 degrees so let's go ahead and write it down i'm going to write down angle 2x uh, plus angle uh, 3x uh, plus uh, angle 4 x plus uh, 2 times alpha plus uh, 60 degrees must be equal to the angle sum is going to be 360 the interior angle sum let's combine the like terms uh, and i'm going to subtract uh, 60 degrees uh, from both uh, sides and here we can see this uh, 60 degrees negative 60 degrees they are gone so we got uh, 9 times uh, x plus 2 times alpha equal to 300 degrees and now let's focus on this equation one we know our alpha value is 3x minus 30 degrees so therefore i'm going to substitute that value over here 3x minus 30 degrees and now we are going to distribute so therefore we can write 9x plus 6 x uh, minus 60 degrees equal to 300 uh, degrees and that is going to give us uh, 15 uh, x uh, minus uh, 60 degrees uh, equal to 300 uh, degrees let's add 60 degrees on both sides this is gone so therefore we are ended up with the uh, 15 x uh, equal to 360 degrees let's divide both sides by 15 to isolate x uh, this 15 and 15 is gone so therefore uh, our angle x value turns out to be 24 uh, degrees so thus our angle x value turns out to be 24 degrees thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye